Peace be upon you, my dear students. Welcome to be with you in the third lesson with you, Ms. Amal Maruf. Let's start. In this part, we will talk about some objectives ab about lesson three. Number one, identify the concept of the physical quantities. Mention examples of some standard and vectors of physical quantities. Last one, we will talk about one example of scalar and vector quantities, which are distance and displacement. In this session, we will talk about what is the meaning of physical quantity. Physical quantity, it is a quantity which we can measure it and has measuring units and measuring tools. But why? To understand the physical phenomena, it is necessary to deal with physical quantities. As to understand the motion of objects, we must deal with velocity and deal with speed, distance. So we must know the meaning of the physical quantity. So we can define physical quantity as quantity that can be measured and has measuring tools and measuring unit. Yes, after that, to describe the physical phenomena must deal with physical quantities. Why? To describe it and understand the physical phenomena very well. And we have one example, motion in one direction as we explain it by speed and uh, with distance and time. Physical quantities, they are any quantities that can be determined and has measuring unit in our life. Again, physical quantity, it is any quantity that can be determined or measured and has a meaning and has measuring unit in our life. For example, force. Force is a physical quantity. Why? Because it has measuring unit and we can measure it. Length, velocity, time, temperature, mass, speed, acceleration. All of these examples are called the physical quantities. Why? Because they can be determined and has measuring unit. These physical quantities can be classified into two types, scalar and vector quantities. How can you differentiate between the two types of physical quantities? Number one, scalar, physical quantities. Number two, vectors, physical quantities. Let's start with scalar, physical quantities. Physical quantities, second type of the physical quantity, which is a scalar. A scalar, it is the physical quantity that has magnitude only and has no direction. This means that it can be defined by its magnitude and has no direction. The second type of the physical quantity is called vector physical quantity. It is any physical quantity that has magnitude and has direction. That is the difference between the two types of the physical quantities. First type has magnitude only and has no direction. The second type has magnitude and has direction. Examples of some scalar physical quantities and their measuring units. Number one, mass. Mass is measured by kilogram. Can be measured directly. Has no direction. So mass is a scalar physical quantity. Length may be as similar as distance. Both of them are scalar physical quantities. Why? Because they can be defined by magnitude only and has no direction. Energy can be measured by joule. Time can be measured by second or hour. Speed can be measured by meter per second or kilometer per hour. Temperature can be measured by Celsius. The radius, area, density are examples of scalar physical quantities. So we have many examples of scalar physical quantities which can be defined by measuring unit and have magnitude 
and have no direction. Length and time are scalar physical quantities. Why? Because they can be defined by their magnitude and have no direction. Examples for some vector physical quantities and their measuring unit. Vector physical quantities can be defined by their magnitude, yes, and have direction. For example, as we talk about acceleration due to gravity, its direction towards the center of the Earth. So it has magnitude and direction, and its type is vector physical quantity. It's measuring unit meter per second power two. Force can be measured by Newton. Force has direction, yes has direction, so it is vector physical quantity. Velocity. Velocity is different because it has magnitude and direction. While speed has magnitude only. Displacement. Displacement, it is vector physical quantity because it can be defined by its magnitude only and has measuring unit. Displacement has meter as a measuring unit. Weight, its measuring unit, Newton, has direction, yes, towards the center of the Earth. So it can be defined by magnitude and direction. Acceleration and the force are vector quantities. Why? Because they have magnitude and direction. There are some physical quantities that seem at first sight to be similar, but they have a great difference in their concept, such as this means that there are many physical quantities that same at the first sight to be similar as distance and displacement. All of them in English means the length of the path, but in science they are different. Each one of them has definition or has concept different from the each other. The difference between distance and displacement, both of them means the length of path the length of motion, but they are different in their concept. In front of you, you have a picture. The car moves in two routes. One of them is a straight line and the other is curved line. What is the difference between them? The first case from A to B, it is displacement. Why? Because the object moves in a straight line from a point to B point, so it is called displacement. While when the car moved in curved line, is called distance. This means that from A to B is not distance, no. From A to B, it is a distance in a straight line. And from A to B in curved line, it is a distance. But displacement, it is the distance covered in a straight line only. So the displacement from A to B in a straight line. While distance, both of them may be in a straight line or in curved line or in both of them. Yes, when this car moves from position A to position B, the length of the curved line gives the distance covered by the car. The straight line that starts from point A and ends at point B in the direction EV gives the displacement of the car. The shortest length between A and B in direction EV in the eastward direction. When car moves the straight line, it is a displacement. But when it moves in curved line, it is called distance. In front of you, you have a map that contains some govern rates and the distance between them as Cairo, as the Gazig, Banha, Tanta. All of these are govern rates in Egypt. The distance between Cairo and Tanta, for example, 93 kilometers. The distance between Cairo and Banha, 45 kilometers. The distance between Banha and Tanta, 60 km. The distance between Cairo and Tanta, passing by the Gazik, is 80, then 
85 kilometer. A person wants to make a trip by his car from Cairo to Tanta. Where is the starting point? Yes, Cairo, excellent. Where is the ending point? Yes, Tanta. The distance of the trip depends on the path that the car takes. For example, when it takes the distance from Cairo to Tanta in a straight line, it equals 93. But it will make the journey through Banha. This means that it covers the distance from Cairo to Banha, then from Banha to Tanta. So the distance covered by this car, 45 plus 60. But when this car covers the distance between Cairo and Tanta, passing by the Gazik, it will cover 80 kilometer plus 85 kilometer. Which of them is the longest distance? Yes, the last one. From Cairo, Banha, Tanta, 45 plus 60 equal 105 kilometer from Cairo to Tanta passing by the Gazik. The distance covered 80 plus 85 equal 165. Which of them is longer than the other? Yes, when I cover the distance from Cairo to Tanta passing by the Gazik. But when the car covers a distance from Cairo to Tanta passing by Banha, the distance covered 105 kilometers. Both of them are distance. But where is the displacement? You notice the difference in the distance between Cairo and Tanta. The shortest straight line that starts from Cairo and the end is at Tanta, at Tanta represents the displacement. So the straight line covered by the car from the starting point to ending point is called yes displacement, which is equal which equal 93 kilometer in north and west direction. When a body moves in a straight line from A to B, covering 50 meters. Then it returns back to A. What happens in these cases? Where is the starting point A? Where is the ending point B? The distance covered between them 50 meters. The distance covered from A to B, then to A again 50 plus 50 equal 100. In this case, the object covers the same distance and the return back. So the total distance covered by this object from A to B and from B to A, 50 plus 50 equal 100 meter. Displacement equal 50 meter in east direction, 50 meter in west direction. So it covers zero displacement. Why? Because the starting point is the same to the ending point. So there is no change in the displacement covered by this object. So displacement equals zero as return is back to his starting point A. So we can define distance as the actual length of the path that a moving object covers from the starting point to the ending point. Distance, any actual length, maybe a straight line, or in curved line or both of them covered by the object from the starting point to ending point. So distance is a scalar physical quantity. Why distance is a scalar physical quantity? Because it has magnitude only and has no direction because it is identified by magnitude only. What does it mean by? What does it mean by? The distance covered by an object equals 30 kilometer. From this concept, we can define this statement. The distance covered by an object equals 30 kilometer. This means that the actual length of the path that moving object covers from the starting point to ending point equals 30 kilometer. Displacement. 
Displacement, it is a distance covered at certain direction from the primary position of movement towards its final position. Straight line from the starting point to ending point is called displacement. What is the meaning of amount of displacement? Amount of displacement, it is the length of the shortest straight line. Shortest straight line between two positions, starting point and ending point. Primary position and final position. Here we can differentiate between displacement and amount of displacement. Displacement, it is the distance covered at certain direction from the starting point to ending point. Why is the amount of displacement? It is the shortest distance covered by the object from the starting point to ending point. Displacement is a vector physical quantity. Give reason. Why displacement can be defined as vector, not scalar? Because it has magnitude and direction. It is the distance covered at certain direction from the primary position to movement of movement towards the final position. What is meant to buy? The displacement of an object equals 200 kilometer in the waist direction. This means that the distance covered by an object at waist direction equal 200 kilometer. When the object moves in a straight line in one direction, the displacement happened equal distance covered. This means that when the object moves in a straight line in one direction, yes, the displacement equal the distance. For example, when it covers a distance from A to B in the same direction from A to B, this means that the displacement covered by the object equal the distance, yes, you see in the figure. For example, when the object returns back to its primary position, as when the object starts motion from A to B and return back to A again, what happens? Position is the same of final position. So the displacement covered by this object equal zero. Distance is always greater than the displacement when the object moves in a curved path. Distance may be greater than or equal to the distance, but it is not less than displacement in all states. Distance may be greater than or equal, but it is not equal to uh, less than the distance must be equal, not uh, equal or greater than displacement, but it is not less than displacement. As you see in the figure, when the object covers distance from A to B in curved line, this means that the distance covered by the object is greater than the displacement. Now we will have a, an example about distance and displacement. Hi, Ahmed. Hi, Jenna. Example number one. When a car moves from a starting point A to the point B, then to the end point C, find the distance and displacement. As you see in the picture, this object moves from A to B, A to B, from B to C, find the distance and displacement. The distance covered by this object from A to B equal 40 meter. From B to C, 30 meter. Find the distance. The distance covered by the car from point A to C equal AB plus BC equal 40 plus 30 equal 70 kilometer, 70 meter. While the displacement from point A to C equal 50, as you see in the picture. Yes, equal 50. In the direction of AC, in the north run waste direction, the displacement in this case can be solved by Pythagoras theorem because it is right angle triangle. Excellent, my students. Example number two. 
fell down from the height equal two meters from the ground, then returned it upward one meter, then fell down again to rest on the ground. That is the journey of this pool. First, fall from high distance, which equal two meter. After that, he return back or moves above the sea to one meter. After that, he fall again. That is the journey of this car. Start from maximum height to the ground, then up to down. How can we find the distance covered by the object and the displacement? The distance covered by this object first two meter, then one meter. After that, one meter. Two plus one plus one equal four meter. Displacement covered by this object equal the distance between the starting the starting point to ending point. Where is the starting point? Maximum height or maximum two meter. Where is the ending point? The surface of the ground. The distance between them equal two meter. So the displacement covered by the object equal two meter downward. Excellent by students. Example number three. In front of you, the opposite figure represents a car motion on circular path from point A. Calculate the distance and the displacement when the car number one moves a complete circle. After that, a half circle, then quarter circle. Yes. We will start first. To solve this problem, you must know that when the object moves in a curved line or in a circle in front of you, so the motion covered by the object or the distance covered by the object can be calculated by circumference as it moves in a circular path. When it covers the distance from A to B, then to C, and return it back to A. This means that it makes one rotation. OK, let's determine the, the distance and displacement when the car covers a complete circle. In this case, the distance covered by the object equal circumference equal two by R two multiplied by 22 over seven multiply radius of this circle equal 7. 2 multiply 22 over 7 multiply 7 equal 2 multiply 22 equal 44 as 7 over 7 equal 1. The displacement covered by this object in this case equal 0. Why? Because the starting point of the car A, the same ending point of car A. Second case, when the car covers the half circle yes i listen to you excellent my students in this case you find the distance covered by the object in half circumference yes so distance equal half multiply circumference equal half multiply 44 equal 22 meter the displacement in this case the starting point to ending point. This straight line is called, yes, diameter. A diameter equal 2R. 2R means 2 multiply R. 2 multiply 7 equal 14 meter in the north direction from A to C. The third part of this problem, the distance covered by the object when it covers Quarter of circumference or quarter of the circle means 1 over 4 multiply 2 by R. 1 over 4 multiply 44 equal 11 meter. In this case, displacement can be determined by 
Bayısı göre sıyırın. AP equal root AM power 2 plus AMB power 2 equal root 7 power 2 plus 7 power 2 equal root 49 plus 49 equal root 98 equal 9.9 meter in the north runway the direction excellent my students in this case we talk about some concepts of this lesson number one is color physical quantities Number two, vector physical quantities. Number three, distance. Number four, displacement. What is the meaning of the scalar physical quantities? The scalar physical quantities, they are the physical quantities which can be defined by their magnitude and has no direction. While vector physical quantities, they are the physical quantities that have magnitude and direction and we talk about the difference between distance and displacement distance it is the actual pass or lens covered by the object in this and it's a motion from the starting point to ending point while displacement it is the distance covered by the object in certain direction from the starting point to ending point yes at the end of this session i uh, was happy to be with you jana yes who else yes thank you for all my students and i wish to be with you next day Sunday, inshallah, at the end of this session, I thank you to be with me, Ms. Amal Maruf, and say good night.